bolt to go in. That is the... That's what in the world puts the pad and it should be used. The, um, let's take a little evening crew Andy mechanic here and welcome to my YouTube channel now um, looking a bit scruffy this evening because I'm sort of off the clock just came into the workshop to prepare for the next glue test on Saturday morning that's uh, it's Thursday night here now so I've got to set the glue this evening to give it at least 24 hours to cure before we do the test so Hence why I'm in the workshop frantically trying to get stuff sorted out. Now, um, there were many, many comments on the last video when those valves failed, where the, uh, the actual valve stem fractured just by the weld. And uh, the valve, upon further inspection, after I did the video, the material that those valves are made out of, and I should be able to find out through work, but uh, extremely hard and obviously comes with that brittleness uh, and that's basically why it fails. Bad design Mr Young. Yeah worth a try but hey so we've gone a few steps up and um, pretty obvious really but you know sometimes you don't see the obvious. Lots of comments, lots of really constructive comments and obviously a lot of um, interest in which of these two glues is going to perform the best. Now on the last test the 3M got up to 230 uh, kilograms of load before the valve broke. The 3M glue was still going strong. It's pretty impressive. But I reckon it's got a lot more left in it. Uh, so the, the design of the... Uh, I need some more pliers, hang on. Because it's still hot, I've just been welding them. There we go. Right, the design of our new test pieces are these. Now this is just steel stock and it's slightly bigger diameter because I don't have a lot of time to turn it all down so it's, this is about 38 and a half millimeters in diameter so a slightly larger surface area but hey we'll calculate that on the next video give us an idea so we've got something that's relative. But that is the design big chunk of steel stock with uh, there you go look with a bit of a chain link reasonably well welded on and these basically we're going to get glued together, ideally with the chain links lined up, that's a good idea. Uh, and then when it's in the actual test kit, we're going to basically try and pull it apart using the um, engine hoist and that crane scale to measure the load again. So this is what we've got to play with. I can't see how on earth these could break. And my welding really isn't that bad. <laughs> Pretty sure that that will cope with the load as well. Will the chain link last? Yeah, the, I reckon the chain link will last too because this chain was part of the, t the rig that I took up to about 600 kgs, no, 750 kgs on the test run without a test piece in the system, so to speak. So, all that's left to do now is to mix up some glue, bond these things together, ready for the weekend. Right, I have to do this to camera because otherwise you might wonder how I mix the glue and how I apply the glue and that kind of stuff. So if you're finding it boring, hey, just press stop now and uh, wait for the video to come out on Saturday. Right, here we go. Okay, sorry about the sound quality. It's uh, raining really hard outside. Now the first glue, as per the previous videos, is the Selly's 5-minute Araldite. Now, okay, it says it gets some strength within 5 minutes, but we're going to leave it for the full 24 hours. Uh, actually more than 24 hours to get its full strength up for the test. Now we don't need a great deal of this glue. There we go. Right. We do need it in equal equal quantities. And we'll do a little bit extra because there's slightly bigger samples of these. There we go. Okay. Let's get it a good mix. It's 
choose what is it all girl? Right. There we go. Okay, to the sample. Now I always get glue on my phone doing this. Right. Nice and clean. And we'll just pop that on there. Now we've got to do both sides. Right. There we go. It's a good coating on there. And then we'll just stick the two together. Yeah. And hopefully we're not going to float around so much. Wow. It's pretty quick, wasn't it? Okay, a bit of excess, don't need that. Excellent. Okay, well, that's the uh, arrow light done. We'll move on to the 3M product now. Hmm, let's check the gloves, I think. Hokley Dokley, right, it's time for that 3M product now. So, this one comes with its own applicator, which is a little bit overcomplicated what we want, but hey, that's just the way it is. So, we know how this works now. It goes in like that to there glue goes in the top lock that down should know by now should know take the bung out now you get a disposable mix nozzle nozzle with this there we go that goes on there and then we're ready to go look at that what a piece of kit bloody expensive though this this one glue pack and the applicator gun 200 New Zealand dollars. Right, now, uh, we're going to put some on the cardboard. We're not going to mix it, we're just going to use that then to transfer it onto the pieces. Right, there we go, look. Okay, so the glue comes down, the two separate tubes, the syringes get pushed down this little tube here and it mixes as it goes down, that's the idea. So we're not going to do any additional mixing because that's what 3M give us. So we should be testing it, you know, with the product that they give us. That should be mixed glue in there. Just a bit extra there we have it. Seems to always get through a bit too much. Right. Okay, we can release that plunger now so nothing else comes out. Okay, right, to the vise. Okay. Just getting a bit on the blade. Now these are these are brand new uh, and degreased kind of blades that I'm using. I'm running out of stuff that's any good to apply this really. Okay. Way. Bit of a storm tonight. Okay, so we've got the second one now. We're just going to pop that onto there. There we go. Very nice. Even layer, I think, on that. Right. Okay, it's got to line up those chain links. I think we're there. Alright, I'll just hold that for a minute or two. Excellent. Didn't take long to set, does it? Well, to, to set enough to hold it in place. Okay, better label these things up, I think. Right, so we've got... 3M and we'll just put a big A for arrow light on that one I think. Done. 
Okay crew, well things are looking pretty good. It's been a long day for me, I've got a bit of tidying up to do and then I'm going to call it a night. Actually, after I've edited this video and got it live for you, that's how dedicated we are at Randy Mechanic Channel. We are? I am. Okay crew, a bit of a surprise for you on the next video to do with the glues, you'll have to wait and see what's, uh, what's coming up. Okay, well, it was only a short video. If you want to watch more of the Andy Mechanic videos, why not click on subscribe and then you can uh, click the or tick, or click on the gear icon and then you can tick the box and turn on notifications. That way our friends down at YouTube will send you an email as and when I upload any new videos. And at the moment, there's two or three a week. We're doing pretty well at the moment, given the, the minimum amount of time that I've got. But hey, things are coming on well. Uh, you'll also find me on Facebook, Instagram, Google+, and Twitter. Feel free to communicate through any of those portals. I'll do my very best to get back to you just as soon as I can. I can't guarantee to reply to every question. There's a lot of questions coming through these days. Just before I go, a bit of a dedication. I've got some new tools. Benjamin, my son, decided to buy me some of those tapered hole saws. Look at that. Now, I have no idea where they came from. But I've been wanting some of these for a very long time, so I'm looking forward to using those. And I'm sure one day on a video I'll be using them. He also got me, and this I do know where it came from. This was a company called Auto Tool Home. Just there, look, Auto Tool Home, and they're on Facebook. Yeah, Auto Tool Home at 163.com. Hmm. And these are like those little sandy tubes that you and you get the little the little holders, the little rubber expanders to hold them as well so you get tons of these and they must have been cheap because Ben wouldn't have bought them otherwise thanks Ben it's really cool when you get tools for Christmas and we do that every year it's tradition in our family me to buy Ben tools and him to buy me tools yeah power tools all sorts of stuff it's good okay crew well that's about it I'll see you in a couple of days cheers over and out